recording we're recording what's up what up dude nothing much playing some world of warcraft again how about you playing playing some world of warcraft too and by playing i mean we're killing lots of mobs trying to get to level 80 yeah but you said that you say that like that's not that's different well if it's you're... not the wow i want to play right now i want to play end game wow you know oh what I mean? yeah 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 i thought you were making a comparison to like questing leveling uh, I, I was guess. like, I feel like that's just as repetitive. Yeah, I feel but like it is. Obviously, but... our tastes aren't necessarily everybody's tastes, but that's a, a great segue into Rather Lich King leveling is freaking hard, dude. Yeah, it's dude. actually not nearly as enjoyable as I uh, as I remember the nostalgia. it. Nostalgia. <laughs> yeah, nostalgia. But it, the it's... nostalgia remembers differently. You know, doing something for the first time, of course, is like I wish I could reread that book without remembering it you know what i mean yeah no that's always the trope right but it's it's this whole experience has kind of caused me to be a little bit uh introspective because like is it re-experiencing it for the first time or have i changed you know what i mean like is i feel like both? obviously we've all changed right yeah. but at the same time uh, i don't have as much free time as i used to if i had like an ungodly amount of free time like i did in you know summer vacay of being a kid Oh yeah, yeah. we no like the game. <laughs> yeah. It was like I'm a completely different type of customer uh, now as I was then. I'm a different demographic of people, and so it's like uh, I'm constantly questioning myself. I'm like, am I the one who's out of touch? <laughs> Is it me? <laughs> no, Is but it the game. But Is it? <laughs> I, I think that like the discourse on like the Reddit's like our wow, especially mm -hmm. lately, has shown that no, we aren't alone in feeling that way. Like. It was there were, validating. There sure. was a lot of posts that were like, oh, here, I'll show them on the screen right now. Um, but there were a lot of posts basically saying, this is kind of hard. And then a lot of other people saying, just enjoy the ride, dude. <laughs> Go with enjoy. the flow. And uh, that's valid. I mean. Yeah, but I look at my experience bar and I get really sad because it's like the sliver is there, but I keep killing mobs and it, it hasn't <laughs> it dinged me yet because forever. it's so like compressed. Like It's a lot. It's a lot. It's deliberately a lot. Yeah. yeah, it's not far off from Burning Crusade, but definitely a lot easier than Burning Crusade, I'd say. But it's still that hardcore mode that is so starkly contrasted with more modern expansions that let you get the max level and get the end game content in literally a day. Mm. Uh, you know what I mean? And I think that that's where we get these comparisons and that's where we get like these these stark reminders from current people uh, playing both WoWs. Yeah. And that, that's why it's so interesting. That's why these Reddit posts are so interesting to me because, you know, this discussion of a uh, barrier to entry to the to the end game has been an ongoing one in the latest iteration of uh, the expansion. And yet there's so many people who are super into the progression angle of wrath in these older expansions and questing. However, some of the biggest advocates for classic we're 80 literally the first day doing some sweaty ass like <laughs> strat so there yeah like there's so much uh you know there's so much that gets convoluted in the conversation between uh which expansion was better because there's 14 different games in each expansion yeah you know what i mean there's the questing there's the end game stuff like pvp raids dungeons and all those are different games and yeah. so it's like one expansion might have better dungeons that might have better pvp might have better feel like game design feel might had a better questing experience but we lump them together in our comparisons it's like <laughs> wrath was the best yeah well, no what we really need is not classic wow it's hodgepodge wow <laughs> i want this gearing system from this expansion i want this from this and then i want this and i don't know if this is like hopium coming out but i legitimately think that there was, they're doing a lot right in Dragonflight. Like when, when, and when you're talking about hodgepodging, <laughs> uh, I, I, don't, I don't even think it's so much hodgepodging because like the, that's just the way that we think about it because that's yeah. the way that we experienced it. But as someone who's probably making this, they're probably like, you know, hodgepodging is, they didn't make the original hodge, the podge. Yeah. <laughs> you, know? Like, yeah, yeah. you know, they're a lot of these are newer devs. Right? They're hodgepodging from what was the game 15 years ago. Right. And they're like, how can we remake this our own way with the code that's given? Yeah. 
Oh yeah, I have no idea how that yeah. how that even works. But I'm not a doctor developer. But in terms of the shit that I would assume would be the correct design decisions, I think they're getting a lot of what I prefer in my current timeline of my life. You're like, I need the yes. efficiencies that Dragon I, I will love have. <laughs> I love the story. Like if you actually do read a lot of these quests and explore a lot of these things in Wrath of the Lich King, it is genuinely enjoyable. It is. Like, I, I literally went and explored that entire zone. Yeah. On, uh, and I, I never am, like, a completionist like that. But I actually found myself in, in Borean Tundra just <laughs> having a grand old time learning about everything. And, uh, oh, my God, what, what are the Tuscars? Yeah. Is that what they are? I don't know. The little walrus people or I know. Whatever? You knew something I didn't know. There was, like, little boats. I yeah, forgot. I found the, I forgot the turtle that. boat. That thing the was turtles, awesome. Yeah. Here, I'll show you the turtle boat right now. Um because it's so cool. I took some screenshots editing. of us. Like, I think when PVPers end up getting to this line of thinking at this point, they're like, oh, if we have to coexist with all this stuff, we're never going to get, you know, prioritized. And, the, and then that's probably pretty depressing. But <laughs> I, I, as someone who went and has been looking at other games and doing other stuff, I, I would say that, that that's actually something that's really special about WoW. It's yeah. like... At the end of the day, nothing actually, none of these competitions like really matter. <laughs> at the They're, end of the day, it's a video game. At the end of the day, it's a video game. And the, and the coolest part is the friends we grabbed along the way. <laughs> the adventures we went on together. Right. That, that's the real end game. And so like having like such a cool amount of different people and different interests all kind of coexisting communities and vibing. Communities. Yeah. <laughs> that's freaking sick, dude. Yeah. Like I, I was playing Valorant a bunch lately and like. There's no like pet collecting community in Valorant. <laughs> like there's like, oh, I'm really into skins, but to get skins, you literally have to like play the game yeah. and pay the game. And for, from my perspective, I'm really enjoying this Wrath of Lich King grind. I would never do it if it wasn't for having to do it. <laughs> but at the you same would. time, I also would probably really enjoy just going into the arena. Like if it was like an arena pass type of Wrath of Lich King yeah. realm, the, you know, the absolute of either direction is probably not the right choice like completely removing questing is probably not the right choice because we want to have to we want to people to come and experience arena like when they have those weekly arena quests mm -hmm. and i thought that was awesome and i and i i always saw like a, a new variety a new fresh variety of like compositions and stuff like that enter the scrims yeah when that quest would come up and i thought that was cool and and i know that i'm sure more and more people were picking up PvP because of that. But at the same time, they probably didn't want to do that. They probably didn't want to press that key button. And the they just they wanted that reward. <laughs> yeah. And so, you know, I kind of like the idea of, like, encouraging players to continue to do things outside of their comfort zone. But uh, I think <laughs> the PvP community has always kind of felt like the redheaded stepchild because uh, we always were forced to go out of our comfort zone in order to do the PvP side of things. But I think most PvPers enjoyed the other side of the game. Yeah. It isn't until like, but I'm starting to understand more and more of those who, who prefer to just do the PvP side of the game as someone who went and enjoyed something like Valorant, mm -hmm. where like everything is super ultra convenient for that one side of the game. And so, <laughs> I don't know, basically... Uh, uh, I'm coming to the conclusion that there's there's benefits in both types of games, but I'm definitely looking forward to Dragon. You're Flight. like, it'll be so fun when I'm 80, but yeah, but I'm also looking forward to Dragon Flight just because it's new and shiny and yeah. Yeah, and also straight up on an equal playing field. Yeah, because we'll all everyone will be starting. Right, everyone will be brand new. Yeah. So, do you know what you're gonna play in Dragon Flight yet? No. Do you know what you're gonna play? I thought I was going to play my mage, but... I I'm going to play whatever benefits your class that you end up Why me, though? I don't know, because I, I have a pretty wide variety of tunes that I'm comfortable yeah, playing Yeah, like, now. should I go the healer route? And then, like, like, if you go healer route, I can go ret slash windwalker monk route. And I know I'm going to be good at those, too. Mm -hmm. so if you go mage I route, go we'll just go rogue yeah. mage, and that's yeah. always good. So do I do mage... Or Holy Paladin. That's, I think, what I've been between. All your jellies. I think you like the... Um, here's what I say about healers. And shout out to all you healers out here. Um, healers are freaking hard, especially in Shadowlands. Yeah, yeah. Healers are... There's a lot of pressure on healers right now. Cooldown rotation is like just something that you need to like immediately... Um, 
familiarize yourself with. And that kind of sucks, especially when you're solo queuing. Like, yeah, and but you're I guess an I'm LFG always going to be stuff. playing with you. Yeah. So, like... That's another reason why I was okay being a holy priest for the longest time is because I was healing people I gave a shit about. It's yeah. so much better. To but you're right. If I played like solo more, in. I'd probably want to be a mage because yeah. it'd be something I could queue alone more. Yeah. When you're playing with uh, arena partners, y'all, make sure that you're you're like imagining the partnership with them as also like your arena rating. Like there's like, well, just imagine that you have like a two like a partner level and that you're leveling that too because. That's honestly, especially in the, like the latest iterations of the game, that team synergy is like the the where the skill ceiling really is. Yeah, it's so, true. You know what I mean? We're gonna be 80 soon, and we'll have some more content for you. So hit that subscribe button, and uh, we'll be back. Peace.